Good morning, War Eagles. My name is Hunter Crabtree, and welcome back. Today is Friday, and uh, before we jump into any major things, we're going to go to Cole to tell you about this weekend's weather so you can make any plans. Hey, War Eagles. I'm Cole, here with your weather today. Today, it will be a high of 74 with a low of 51. Saturday will be a high of 76 with a low of 55. And Sunday will be a high of 79 with a low of 56. Have a good weekend, War Eagles. Thanks a ton, Cole, I appreciate it. Now, if any of you happen to have this piece of paper right here, uh, I think Ms. Hong gave it to you, but on September 28th, you're gonna wanna go to the RSVP. Now, going on the announcements, we're gonna talk about homecoming, since homecoming is coming up. It is gonna be held September 9th from 7th to 10, and if you don't already know, tickets will be $20 and sold on GoFans.com. Now, for one bit, we're going to talk about the theater because they've been working on a play called The Boys Next Door. They've been working really hard, so why don't we cut to them uh, talking about how they made it and the process that went behind it. sometimes and we eat some cookies whenever people come over and it's just it's, it's a, they're good people okay so i'm being interviewed we have to warm up really quick so and then can and then can, can i be interviewed it? what yes you can video it yes and then can i be interviewed yes Actors or crewmates? Man, um, my fellow actors, they definitely get on my nerves. As my character Jack in the oh, show, um, he gets fed up with these boys. That's why I'm called the boys next door. He gets fed up with them. And in real life, I get fed up with every single one of them. But I love them to death. The crew, we could not do any of this without the crew. They are the best people in the world. They get all our sets done, and they are amazing. This is definitely one of the, my favorite shows that I've ever been a part of. They're, everybody's very dedicated to the show and they know what the show means yeah. and what we were trying to tell, trying to win a state championship. So yeah. Uh, my fellow colleagues, I believe all of them are great. They're all some of my closest friends and I feel like this is the tightest knit group in the school. Um, I think some of them are pretty good. Malifi, Riley, but not Nick. He's kind of bad at it, so he doesn't want us to show it. But everyone else, I think, is pretty good. Um, what do you think of uh, the actors or your fellow colleagues? They're pretty chill. Sure. Uh, what do you think of the show so far? Where's my donut box? Go, there's the lion! I found my donut box. It's got donuts. Donuts are good. Mr. Kelly? Ooh, I don't know. He's kind of bad. I wish he would give more stage directions, but for what we have right now, he's all right. My director? Oh my God. No, in all seriousness, he's great. I love him so much. Director Jeff Kelly? He told us he was 27 yesterday, and I spent the entire night trying to figure out how, how he was 27. So, but uh, him himself, uh, he's, he's solid, he's cool. <laughs> Mr. Kelly, uh, he's been really quiet lately, but he's just, he's a cool guy. Uh, he's really passionate about his job, and that passion really rubs up on us, because then we're like, okay, this is serious, and we take things a little more, I guess, seriously. Yikes. Um, yeah, he's a weird guy. You know, he's very funny. Um, he jokes around with us, we play around, but when it comes to time to be serious and during rehearsal and when we're doing a serious scene, or he's just a very, he gets the job done when the job needs to be done. He doesn't fool around all the time. 
what do I think of the actors so far? Um, I think that they are putting in an awful lot of hard work. Uh, a show like The Boys Next Door is really quite difficult. A lot of our performers, it's their first time doing a non-musical, um, and, and for some it's their first play here. Uh, and so a one-act play we take very seriously because we, we want to go win another state title. So we're pretty hard on them in terms of uh, what the expectation level is. Um, and they're definitely rising to the challenge. Um, and I'm sure they, they probably think I'm, I'm crazy with all the, all the notes that I'm giving them on a daily basis. Um, but they've, they've had great attitudes. They've been really fun to work with. Um, and they're developing some, some awesome characters. They're, they're putting in a lot of hard work. Well, this is my favorite show of all time. Um, I was lucky enough to act in it three different times in my life. So uh, this show is very near and dear to my heart. It's kind of like uh, the reason you do something. Uh, so this would kind of be like uh, uh, why I do theater, um, a play like this. And so it's been a, a sheer joy to, to go back and experience it. To be honest, I didn't think I would ever do it at high school. Uh, high school boys aren't always the most mature um, in dealing with subjects like this. And so I didn't know that I'd ever have a collection together at one time that I could do this show. Uh, but obviously uh, we do. And uh, so I'm incredibly grateful to be spending this time with this familiar friend, the boys next door. Uh, I would say that um, every so often in whatever uh, program that you run, sometimes you have uh, a senior class that graduates that was highly skilled in a certain area. And then in our case, we had performers that were highly skilled in non-musicals and technical members that were highly skilled in construction. And so everyone's uh, learning together on how to put a play like this together, how to make a set. And so I'd say just our struggles would just be simply the growing pains of learning new skills. Skill acquisition sometimes takes a while. The cast and the crew have worked so hard, um, particularly the crew in the last two weeks. They're in all the time. Um, before school, they're working after school, um, and uh, I'm just, just proud of everybody's hard work and can't wait to take this show to the stage tomorrow night. It's a great show. It's about four boys and basically their challenges with, um, and they're all on the spectrum. So it's both touching, interesting, thought-provoking, and it's definitely got its funny parts that make it really enjoyable. I really like the message behind the show and how we're uh, portraying that message and getting it across to the people. It's uh, controversial, uh, but it's gonna be fun. I feel like we're gonna do good. We're gonna have a great show. I come see the show September 23rd through the 26th. Uh, yeah, there we go. You just come see the show. If you don't, you just, just see the show and I won't have to do anything. <laughs> For our final thing today, we're going to be talking about some sports. Uh, Cross-country championships are going to be held all week. So if you have the ability to go see them, please go see them. And now, if you're unfortunate enough to miss Friday's game, here are some highlights from it. And remember, go Warriors.